what is wrong with people? Hello everyone, TJV here, and today I'm bringing you a woman who ends up stealing Legos from a Walmart and gets pulled over because they got calls that someone stole from Walmart. Apparently they found the person and they see the Legos in the back seat, but then a police officer finds something else in the back seat. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Let's just play the clips. On January 24th. 2022, a Walmart employee notified officers of a woman that had stolen Legos worth nearly $300 in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Hey, I'm Officer Johnson. Hi. Hey, do you get your license and insurance on you? So the reason we stopped you is today because Walmart called and they're, did you suspect of possibly ringing up some items? Huh? Yeah, I bought items. You bought items? Yeah. Okay. So this isn't your ordinary thief. They're not stealing a candy bar. They're not stealing a Gatorade. They're not stealing a small little toy or a t-shirt. No, they're stealing big Lego sets. This is a master thief. In the critically acclaimed Lego movie and Lego movie part two, there are Lego people called master builders. Well, this is a master thief of Lego sets. This woman really knows how to steal the goods. I'm sure she has a phone number to call if you want her to steal something for you, especially if it's Lego related, because she really knows how to run an operation to steal the big Lego sets. What were you doing at Walmart? Just now? Yeah. Buying stuff. Okay. Because we're going to call it you stole Legos earlier. Did he get your ID? Do you have a receipt for the stuff you bought? During the traffic stop, the officer noticed the Lego sets in the back seat, along with what appeared to be an explosive device. So apparently what she told the officers is that she was going to Walmart to buy food and all your toiletries and, you know, whatever she ends up needing, and that she never bought Legos, but the Legos were noticeable in the back seat. But also they thought there was an explosive device, aka a bomb in the back seat. And this is like a normal traffic flow happening and stuff like that. It doesn't seem like it's like heavy traffic nearby, but it's still a huge hazard. So when they see something that looks like a bomb, they're like, gonna be like, okay, we gotta take this very seriously. But again, she claims she did not steal Legos when they're visible through the back window, the rear window. Will you roll down your back window for me? Thank you. What is all that? All right, go ahead and hop out real quick. Come back here and stand by the back side of the car. Okay. Do you have anything illegal in the car? There's a, a bat. No, there's bars in my purse. Some Xanax bars. You're not prescribed. No. Okay. Do you have any guns in the car? No. Any other drugs? I don't think so. Okay. Bro, I, explain to me what that device is in the back of your car that looks like a bomb. Uh, I didn't. My boyfriend made that. Okay, sit tight. There's a fucking bomb in the back of that car. So they asked to roll down the window. They see more of the Lego sets, but they also see the bomb in the back of the car. And they arrest her and they ask what it is. And they're like, oh, my boyfriend made it. I don't know what it is. And the officer here describes this. A bunch of fireworks strapped together with, like, metal and shit and wrapped around. Oh, and can you start a supervisor out here? It looks like there's some sort of explosive device in the back of the car that someone has built. It's got like four big ass fireworks and there's like big old screws and shit all within that and then it's wrapped, got like a bunch of stuff wrapped around it. I mean, I don't think it's gonna go off. How big is it? It's sketchy. It's like this big. It's definitely made to cause some damage yeah. when it goes off. Yeah. And describes that, like, it's a bunch of fireworks taped together, so it ain't really a bomb, but they don't know if it could be an actual bomb or not. And we get more context, because, surprisingly enough, there's a crime scene happening here that they gotta investigate what's in the back of the car, and the boyfriend who made it walks right up to the scene here in a moment. What's up, bud? Is 
What's your name? Zane Bennett. Okay, Zane, come over here and hang out for a second. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, my girlfriend had it on her. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I have a picture of my ID. Zane? Yes. Uh, I have a picture of my ID. No, let's go back So he walks up to the scene and says that he doesn't have ID. The ID is with his girlfriend in the car or whatever, which, again, don't know why your ID's in the car. Maybe some people leave their IDs in the car, which is just kind of weird. You should always carry your ID on you. But regardless, he walks up the scene and gets arrested, and then they ask him, did you make the bomb? And he actually admits, yeah, I made the bomb. Zane admitted to building the explosive device in a hotel room, using fireworks, and leaving in his vehicle his girlfriend was driving. So, man, I'll, I'll just... I'll just cut to the chase and I'll tell you why we have like all this shut down and everything right. is is it, it has to do with the little device you've made it looks like some fireworks tied together some nolts and buds to it so so that's why we have this all shut down because it's kind of our protocol is is it it looks right. like an explosive device right. whole, you know it's, no. do you is it like active is it like volatile no. to where if it falls it's, breaks no, is it going to go it, off it's, it's literally just fireworks like, like if you take it apart it's a whole bunch of little fireworks like, that are tied like in tape. Well, I mean, like, like, okay, so it's like a stick. Yeah. So, so it looked, so, like, Zane claimed he was going to blow up watermelons and did not intend to hurt anyone. The wonderful people at Code Blue Cam say it, and it's just really funny to hear. He was planning on blowing up watermelons. Yup. So what it is is it's a bunch of fireworks that are taped together, and then there's a little bunch of little bolts and nuts and screw heads and all this other stuff, and apparently those things were gonna fly out and hit the watermelon maybe but if you're anywhere near the explosive one of those could go right through you especially if they're traveling at a high rate of speed so it just sounds like some dumb redneck stuff that people were gonna go out and go do zane and maybe buddies because i don't know he said he's just out doing he was gonna do some redneck stuff today and he was gonna take it out and blow up some watermelons with it he said it's a couple of fireworks tied together you have to light it like a normal firework and he said i just wanted to see what the stuff i taped to it on the outside would do if i lit it by a watermelon i said were you trying to use it as a weapon were you gonna you know go do anything today he goes no, I was just gonna blow up some watermelons. And I said, okay. But he just wanted to go out and blow up some watermelon and left it in the girlfriend's car. And it turns out the girlfriend ended up stealing Legos that day. And I'll show at the end, the, the officer ends up having all the Legos held and stuff like that. Okay. There's some serious Lego sets. I mean, th this person is a master thief. You have a master Lego thief and... Just some guy who wanted to go up and blow up some watermelon. This video was released nine months ago. It happened January of last year in 2022. I mean, this stuff isn't really new or new news that I'm breaking down. It's just interesting traffic stops. And I like to watch these sometimes late at night. And some of these I just got to share with you. So if I end up finding more and you guys like this, I will share more. But tell me what you think of the guy just wanting to go blow up some watermelon. And the master Lego thief of the girlfriend. Um, don't know what her name was. Zane was the guy who wanted to blow up some watermelon. They are definitely charged with something. I will show that here. Zane was ultimately charged with illegally manufacturing an explosive device, and Mariah was charged with petty larceny. Just wanted to blow up some watermelon, and I guess she just wanted more Legos. But anyways, guys, comment down below what you guys think of this. Tell me if you guys want me to react to more of these, or comment anything that you want me to react to. Thank you guys for watching. I will be doing a meme stream tomorrow, so make sure to join the meme stream tomorrow and send me some memes, and we'll make a better meme stream than many, lad. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.